Hello friends, this is Subhash Jadav. I welcome you all in our lecture series for Assistant Motor Vehicle Inspector Examination in which we discuss probable objective type multiple choice questions. In today's lecture, we will discuss about IC engine basics. So let us start. The first question is the inventor of two stroke engine is we know Nicholas Otto invented compressed charge compression uh, compressed charge engines. James Watt invented a steam engine. Rudolf Diesel is the inventor for diesel engine, and Dougal Clark is the correct answer who invented the uh, two-stroke engine. Second question is: Theoretically, during expansion process in a four-stroke engine, uh, which walls are remaining open or closed? Now we know there are four processes happening during a cycle of a four-stroke engine. A uh, may it be a petrol engine or diesel engine, and uh, the processes are suction compression expansion and exhaust and here we are talking of expansion so we know initially during suction inlet wall is opened and then whatever the charge is sucked during the suction stroke is being trapped in between the piston and cylinder arrangement which is then compressed and when the piston reaches tdc the spark plug glows and it ignites the mixture in case of petrol engine and the due to the combustion the piston is being pushed down so if uh, this is where we say expansion process starts so when the expansion process is happening we want to ensure that both the walls remain closed otherwise what will happen the pressure will be relieved through the opened walls so any wall if remain open uh, expansion cannot happen and therefore uh, inlet wall opening or exhaust wall opening or both the wall remaining open cannot be our answers so the correct answer is both wall remain closed so this is when uh, that is when uh, the expansion process is happening both the walls has to remain closed next question is the nominal volume of a cylinder when the piston is at tdc is called as uh, so we have a stroke volume so the volume corresponding to the stroke we have swept volume the volume swept by the cell, uh, piston uh, during its motion we have a suction volume the volume corresponds to the uh, suction uh, which is inhaled by the engine so uh, the answer is clearance volume now what is this clearance volume it is uh, we know that when the piston moves in a cylinder uh, we have two position one is nearer to the uh, crankshaft uh, that is uh, the bottom dead center and one is farthest away from the crankshaft which is top dead center so uh, initially the piston is, uh, is at bottom dead center uh, considering that it is at bottom dead center when it is uh, compressing the charge uh, finally it reaches TDC that is top dead center and whatever the volume uh, we get finally that is remaining above the uh, top dead center uh, inside the cylinder is what we call as clearance volume so the nominal volume uh, above the piston uh, when it is at TDC is called as clearance volume so the clearance C is the correct answer for this question uh, next question is which is the following engine uh, engine can operate at higher speeds uh, now we have a square engine in which uh, the bore and stroke are uh, having equal value. We have an over square engine which have uh, that is uh, the bore is uh, bigger than the stroke. Uh, in an under square engine we have the bore uh, to be smaller than the stroke and in a uh, steam in, uh, engine obviously it's a different type of engine. So over square engine when the uh, bore is bigger. So the correct answer here is the uh, over square engine where we have the bore to be bigger than the stroke. So obviously the stroke is smaller than the bore diameter. That means the piston has to travel at a uh, smaller distance when it, uh, in a uh, during a cycle. So so the since the piston is uh, needed to only travel a smaller distance, the the speed which can be attained by this engine will be higher. So in a over square engine. Uh, the speed attained will be higher and uh, uh, contrary to that under square engine is when when the, um, the bore is smaller when compared to that of a stroke so here the stroke is longer comparatively that means uh, compared to the uh, bore diameter this uh, piston has to travel more and uh, therefore the total volume of the engine will be smaller and obviously uh, the, since the piston is traveling at a longer distance the speed attained by such an engine will be uh, lesser 
So the correct answer is over square engine. The process of flushing out of the products of combustion from the engine cylinder by fresh charge is known as. Obviously, uh, we know the turbocharging is a process of uh, enhancing the power output by uh, of engine using the exhaust energy. Supercharging is densifying the charge with the help of a um, supercharger or a, which is a compressor. Um, whereby we are able to burn more energy so it is also a method for enhancing the power of output of the engine uh, so this is not the correct answer second is also not then the remaining is the scavenging and this is the correct answer scavenging so scavenging is defined as the process of flushing out of the uh, exhaust gases from the cylinder with the help of incoming new charge so uh, correct answer is c that is scavenging uh, when the piston of a two stroke uh, engine single cylinder engine moves from TDC to BDC uh, what happens uh, or rather uh, what remains open and close that is about the question so here uh, the answers are transfer port opens intake port opens exhaust port opens transfer port also opens exhaust port transfer port opens and none of the above so when the piston of a two-stroke engine single cylinder moves from TDC to BDC so piston is moving from TDC to BDC so when the piston is TDC, uh, considering it as a petrol engine, uh, spark will happen, the combustion will happen and the uh, charge uh, exerts the pressure on the piston and the piston starts moving down. And when the uh, exhaust port is opened, the, uh, uh, the exhaust port is, uh, process starts, that is the uh, combustion charges are going out. And further as it moves down, the transfer port also opens and the charge which is there in the crankcase of the engine comes into the um, combustion chamber which flushes out the exhaust gases that is scavenging happens so uh, the, this cannot happen because uh, this cannot happen that is transport port opens and in here it is closing here also it is closing now uh, this in this case we have initially the exhaust port opening and then the transfer port opening so this is a third is the correct answer for this particular question uh, which of the following does not relate to compression ignition engine so here uh, the question is which is not related to fuel we know it is injected into the compression ignition engine initially air is compressed and then fuel is injected so it is related then governor governors are required because uh, um, we want to we want the engine to respond to the load and for that governors required in a compression ignition engine we have the fuel injector so we know the fuel is being injected and the injection happens with the help of a fuel injector so the fuel injector is required but uh, the fourth the carburetor carburetor is a device which prepares the mixture in um, outside the engine which is not the case of ci engine it is the case of si engine so carburetors are used in si engine so this is not related to compression ignition engine uh, which of the following is true for a two stroke engine the fuel efficiency is more than four stroke engine for same size higher fuel consumption uh, used for two wheeler only and eco friendly uh, so these are the four options fuel efficiency is more than four stroke engine for same size obviously fuel efficiency cannot be more uh, for a two stroke engine because uh, the two power uh, that is uh, comparatively twice the power theoretically uh, twice the power is being developed so uh, more number of uh, power strokes are there that means uh, more power is go uh, fuel is going to be uh, consumed by a two stroke engine so fuel efficiency cannot be more higher fuel consumption uh, is the correct answer because here as we said uh, every time the piston goes down uh, the mixture is coming and uh, combustion uh, is happening the com uh, consumption the fuel consumption will be higher in case of a two stroke engines used for only two wheelers again not necessarily because we know that two stroke engine can be used in ships also it is not eco friendly because we know that in a two stroke engines lot of unburned hydrocarbons are coming out so it is not eco friendly so uh, eco friendly is not the correct answer it is not only used in two wheeler engines uh, fuel efficiency is not more uh, comparative to that of a four stroke engine so that is not also a correct answer and therefore the correct answer is higher fuel consumption uh, in a four stroke cycle engine the four operations namely suction compression ex expansion and exhaust are completed in a number of revolutions of the crankshaft equal to so being a four stroke engine we know the process which is happening in the during the first stroke is the suction 
then the piston moves up uh, that is compression happens the third stroke uh, that is uh, expansion now happens and then uh, we have the fourth uh, operation happening is exhaust and in order to happen all these things the piston has to uh, move four times that is uh, up and down initially down then up then down then then up so four times uh, it is moving and in this particular process the crankshaft has to rotate two times because uh, once the piston moves up and down the um, crankshaft has to rotate once for every two uh, strokes uh, crankshaft has to rotate once and therefore here uh, for completion of this particular four processes four strokes and net two revolutions of the crankshaft is the correct answer in a two stroke cycle engine all the operations are completed in the number of revolutions of the crankshaft so here we know that uh, as as the name indicates the all the process that is all the operations in the cycle name everything happens within the two strokes and uh, when the two strokes uh, happen that is piston goes down and then comes up uh, in this uh, the crankshaft has to rotate once so the correct answer is uh, in a four stroke cycle petrol engine during suction stroke what happens uh, being a petrol engine and it is a four stroke engine so during suction uh, the wall opens and the uh, mixture is coming in so we know that in a petrol engine the air is not sucked uh, alone obviously petrol is also not alone uh, what we uh, do is we prepare the mixture in outside the engine in the carburetor and this particular uh, mixture uh, homogeneous mixture is coming into the combustion chamber so the mixture of petrol and air is sucked in in case of a four stroke petrol engine two stroke cycle engines has one suction wall and one exhaust wall operated by one cam uh, one suction wall and one exhaust wall operated by two cams only ports covered and uncovered by piston to effect the charging and exhaust so we know that in a four stroke engine we use walls so this one uh, a and b are not the answers so uh, the correct answer is only ports covered and uncovered by the piston to effect the charging and exhaust process in case of a two stroke engine the compression ratio of a petrol engine obviously it is uh, the the amount of compression required in case of a petrol engine is smaller si engine is smaller uh, and it ranges between 7 to 10 because um, uh, if we go for increasing the compression ratio in a si engine beyond this uh, value of 10 then knocking starts so higher the compression the knocking is going to happen in case of si engine so we don't prefer to use higher values so this 16 to 20 uh, value uh, this is uh, the values required for a diesel engine uh, so the correct answer is 7 to 10 uh, in case of petrol engine at starting uh, so we know that in a petrol engine um, during starting the engine is cold and when the engine is cold we require a lot amount of uh, mixture because uh, the mixture whatever we have prepared has uh, is going to going into the combustion chamber but uh, the only small portion of it which is volatile is going to uh, take part in the burning process and therefore we required to supply a lot of mixture so rich mixture rich air fuel mixture is needed so this is the correct answer weak is not sufficient to start chemically correct is also insufficient only air obviously not so the correct answer is rich fuel air mixture is needed for starting a petrol engine in a four stroke uh, engine um, each cylinder has uh, obviously we know that uh, for the operation of a four stroke engine uh, we uh, have two walls uh, so generally as yes, uh, inlet wall and one is exhaust wall um, nowadays we have four walled engines also wherein two uh, uh, can go for the inlet and two can go for exhaust but uh, in general we can say two walls are the is the correct answer the cross-sectional uh, area of a one cylinder of an engine multiplied by its stroke is called as so uh, we know that uh, the volume of a cylinder can be found out by uh, area multiplied by um, the length of the cylinder so here um, the cross-sectional area is the area of the cylinder and the stroke is the, the length of travel path of travel of the um, piston so correspondingly uh, the volume swept volume corresponds to so, so the volume swept by the uh, piston is swept volume 
and it corresponds to the cross sectional area of this uh, corresponding to the piston that is the cross sectional area of cylinder multiplied by the stroke length so uh, correct answer is uh, swept volume um, combustion volume or clearance volume or engine capacity are the not answers because here we are talking of the area multiplied by stroke length so that corresponds to swept volume only uh, in a single cylinder two stroke engine running at 2000 rpm the number of power strokes per minute is so we have a single cylinder two stroke engine and we know that in a two stroke engine uh, per uh, one revolution of the crankshaft uh, one power stroke is being produced that is uh, per revolution we have two strokes of the piston so uh, and in two stroke one cycle is completed that means uh, in one cycle we have one power stroke so uh, every rotation gives one power stroke that means if the engine is running at 2000 rpm that is 2000 times the engine uh, crankshaft is rotating per minute then there will be 2000 power strokes uh, in this particular engine per minute uh, thermal efficiency of ic engine at the rated load is in the range of so uh, it cannot be this much higher because we know that is a thermal efficiency uh, the maximum ideally uh, cannot cycle gives around 60 so uh, it has to be lesser than that so the first one is not possible this is also not possible and uh, therefore uh, the uh, practical value is around 30 to 35 so this is uh, the thermal efficiency of a good IC engine so we are considering it a good so it is on the higher range 30 to 35 how many times in a minute the inlet wall of a four stroke opens and closes when the engine is working at 1000 rpm so um, the inlet wall of a four stroke engine opens and closes so uh, if the engine is working at 1000 rpm we know that uh, in that means uh, 1000 rpm means uh, here the crankshaft is going to rotate 1000 times and we know that per two rotations of the crankshaft the walls will open and close so the walls are being operated uh, once in two revolutions of the crankshaft that means uh, if the rpm is 1000 then half of that time uh, the walls will operate that is 500 so 500 times the walls will any of this wall inlet wall or exhaust wall will open and close 500 times in case of a uh, if in case of when the engine is running at 1000 rpm so that is about today's lecture thank you